Hey there, thanks for joining me. Today's topic is about the Ford Homes Historic District in Dearborn. So do you know what makes the Ford Homes distinct? Find out next. I'm Don Lawrence with My Smart Move here in Southeastern Michigan. Before we get to today's topic, hit the subscribe button so you will be notified of my next video. Here we go. Let's start at the beginning. Whose idea do you think it was to build these future historic homes? Well, with the Ford name involved, you may think Henry, but it wasn't his idea. It was actually his wife, Clara, and his personal secretary, Ernest Leibold, who came up with the idea. But Henry did have his hand in getting the project off the ground. Henry Ford had already developed the assembly line to build automobiles in an efficient manner as possible at the time. So he figured they could use the same technique to build homes. Henry figured it would be an efficient way to build homes with a quality workmanship. Along with using quality materials, it would be a nice house. In early 1919, the Dearborn Realty and Construction Company was founded. And by June of that year, the company had purchased 312 lots, bounded by Park, Military, Nowlin, and Monroe. The company wasted no time in starting to build houses and during that year of 1919 built 94 homes, primarily on Park and Nona Streets. In 1920, Dearborn Realty and Construction Company built an additional 156 houses and they were mostly completed on Military, Gregory, Francis, Beach, and Edison. The prices ranged from $5,500 to $9,500 and purchasers would buy the house through the company and pay the company directly so there were no financial institutions involved in the financing of the property. What about the styles of the homes? There were six models labeled A, B, C, D, E, and F. Most of the homes were built with three bedrooms, but there were a couple handfuls of four bedroom homes built. The houses had two stories with all the bedrooms on the second floor along with one bathroom. The main floor consisted of a living room, a dining room, and a kitchen. All this on a basement. The square footage ranged from about 1,200 to 2,000. Currently, sold prices in the last 12 months range from a low of 185 all the way up to 350,000 for a Ford home. Now, what makes Ford homes distinct? It's the style of the architecture of the houses, along with all the front of the home staggered from the street, meaning that the neighboring houses don't line up with their next door neighbor. This gives the neighborhood a unique feel. Ford also makes sure no two alike homes were next to each other. So, what can you expect today from these 100-year-old homes? Well, mostly it's still like walking back in time when you walk through the, many of the homes. The district does have a preservation guideline for homeowners to follow when remodeling or updating their home. Interior-wise, many homeowners have updated the kitchen, added a half or full bathroom on the main floor, and possibly added some additional living space, like a family room, a larger kitchen, or a dining area. But for the most part, these homes will still remind you of a neighborhood that you do not see every day. There you have it, the Fort Holmes Historic District. If you're thinking about moving to the Dearborn or the Southeastern area of Michigan and have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at my office phone, 313-357-4100, or via email my bio. If you have any comments, please leave them below. And see you next time.